Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today in the world of QuickBooks Point of Sale, I'm going to talk to you about how you can edit a purchase order. So let's go ahead and do that, but before we do, down in the description below, go ahead and click the link to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can ask questions, talk about errors, workflows, training, request a video for this channel. We have a great community there of people who would love to talk to you or discuss what's going on in your QuickBooks point of sale. And if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you can get all the latest, greatest videos coming out on this channel. Let's do it. We've got purchase orders right here. And if you don't know, purchase orders are what you're going to create so you can order items from your vendor. Once you create a purchase order and hopefully send it off to them, it's going to sit here in the PO list open. And when you receive it with a receiving voucher, then it'll automatically close itself if you've received all of the quantities on the purchase order. But today we actually screwed up a purchase order. What are we going to do? We better get in there and fix that darn thing. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to view on purchase order list. And I'm looking at my purchase orders and this one here I ordered three and I sent it out. Now something you're going to need to keep in mind is if you've already emailed this to your vendor or you've already faxed it to them or sent it to them, however it is, if you go and change things now, you're going to need to tell them this is purchase order number 905 and I've already sent it to you and it's screwed up. So I, I had to add a couple more things uh, that I forgot about. So we're going to do, oh, we're not going to do that one twice. We're going to do um, some back straps or whatever. And we're going to add a couple other things here. And uh, info security shared. All right. So we got our extra things that we forgot last time. And we decided we needed to update the purchase order. So you might want to add some instructions. Hey, uh, please edit this PO already sent but to make it better I'd, I'd probably either call them or also put it into the email message that hey I already sent this you need to update the purchase order because I added some extra things or I took some things off explain it to them of course but that is how you're gonna set your purchase order up for success so that when your employee starts receiving things and you've changed your order the purchase order makes sense and it's the actual stuff that's showing up you don't want to call them up and change your order over the phone and not do anything about the purchase order you've already sent them because if you do that your employees will be really confused when things start showing up and they're either not on the purchase order or the purchase order has extra stuff on it that doesn't seem to be in the delivery and everything's getting screwed up so make sure you update your purchase order and edit it and re-email it and explain to bob's flower emporium what's going on and maybe even uh, mention it to your employee oh that one i had to change okay so it's a little different now and there you have it you just update it like that you email it all over again or you save and print and you have edited your purchase order and it's all ready to go all ready to receive when your product shows up my name is peter with black rock business thanks for coming on this little journey in editing purchase orders please leave any comments or questions below and i will answer them have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.